praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. You're listening to Chronicles praise Christian Radio of from the Lord and to Savior, the world. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to Jesus. You're listening to Chronicles Christian Radio from the Caribbean to the world. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. In it a pleasant morning to you. It's time to rise up as we rise up to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. He reigns, he reigns, and we worship him, we exalt him. He is mighty to save, and we exalt his name. A pleasant morning to you. My name is Vanola, and welcome to Rise Up with Vanola as we rise up for another day. This is indeed the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The book of St. Mark, chapter 1 and verse 35 says, And in the morning... Rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. So who was that he? That he is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our Lord. He's our master. He's our leader. And we live to honor him. We live to worship him. We live to exalt and magnify his holy name. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're listening to Chronicles Christian Radio, www.ccradio.co. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. He Alone is Worthy by Alvin Slaughter. As we enter into worship, as we enter into his presence, as we enter into worship and magnify our Lord Jesus Christ. i 
to you, God, and ask you, Lord, to lead us, to go before us, to protect us, to guide our paths in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for listeners, O oh God. We ask that you bless them, O oh God. Cover them also under your blood. Strengthen us for today and direct our every step we ask and pray. In Jesus' holy and precious name with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, he is indeed worthy and we live to honor his name. We live to lift up his name. We live to exalt him. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. Today we'll be going into the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah chapter 1. And this is the beginning of where the, the walls of Jerusalem were rebuilt. And so we are going to listen to the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. In the following days, we will be continuing in this chapter of Nehemiah. Nehemiah is an Old Testament 
book and it tells us of the rebuilding of the walls in Jerusalem and how Nehemiah he went back he went he was a king's cupbearer but he heard of the plight of his people and he sought to go back to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls so let's get into this time into the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 Nehemiah Nehemiah chapter 1 The words of Nehemiah the son of Hakaliah And it came to pass in the month of Kislu, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan, the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. How the wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant which I pray before thee now, day and night for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, Yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants, who desire to fear thy name. And prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. For I was the king's cupbearer. And there we have it, the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1. And so we realize a pattern there. That first off, we, we are introduced to this man, Nehemiah, and we are told who he is. And we are told of exactly what happened. And it says that in the month of Cheslu, and first off, Nehemiah, the, the name Nehemiah means Jehovah has comforted or God has comforted. And so Nehemiah, the servant of God, he heard what was happening in his homeland. And what he did after he inquired and heard what was happening, he went into prayer and he fasted. Verses 4 of Nehemiah chapter 1 says, And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. So that tells us that if we, if we are in a situation like Nehemiah, that we ought to pray, we ought to fast, we ought to seek the God of heaven. And Nehemiah goes on and he he started to pray. In fact, from verse 5, mentions his prayer. And he's saying, I beseech thee, I beg thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God. So first off, there's a great and terrible God. And this God is the God of heaven and also the God of the earth. He's ruling over the heavens and the earth. And so that tells us that we have a higher authority, a higher power that we ought to that we can go to and that we have access to. And so he continues and saying that you are the God who keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love you and observe your commandments. So there are laws and rules that God has 
and he expects us to follow. And he's asking God to listen to his prayer. To let his prayer be be his air, God's air, be attentive and his eyes open that God will hear the prayer of his servant Nehemiah. And so this tells us that all of us children of God, we are servants of of the Lord. In fact, it is often mentioned and said that we are God's hands and we are his feet. And so here Nehemiah is praying unto God and he is reminded God of, of what was said years ago by King Solomon when he built the temple and where God said, you know, if you pray, if you turn and, and pray towards this place, Jerusalem, then your prayers would be, would be heard. And so Nehemiah, he went on in his discourse of prayer from verse 5 from verse 5 to the end of this chapter. And he is asking God and begging God to let him get favor because he he heard of how the people in Jerusalem were and it was it was a, a shame that the walls are broken down. And so if the walls are broken down and the gates are burned, then anyone, enemies or friends have access to coming into the land. And so this hurt him, and he sought to do something about it, and to return, and to build. And he seek God in prayer first, so that God would direct him. And so today, it's important for us to first off, before the day started, to seek God. And as we seek God today, we ask God to lead us, we ask God to guide us, we ask God to to show us which paths to, to take. We ask God to give us favor. We ask God to ensure that we are in his will for our lives. And so just as Nehemiah, he seek God first, and then afterward, God direct him. God, God led him, and we'll continue in the next day, in the next chapter. At this time, let's just bow our head in, in a word of prayer. As we give God thanks and as we ask God to lead us on today. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are the God who keep a covenant with your people. You are the God who rules in the heaven. You are the God who rules on the earth. And Lord, we seek your face, God, because you are greater. You are mighty. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Your ways are higher than our ways. Lord, when we don't understand... You understand. You see us. The path that you allow us to take. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we rise up today, we ask, O God, that you would cover us under your blood. We ask, O God, that you would direct our steps, direct our path, O God. Help us like Nehemiah to inquire of you, to seek you, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we know and trust that you would direct our paths. Lord, go before us on today. Protect us, deliver us from evil, protect our families, protect our islands, protect the roads, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we exalt you, Jesus. Be exalted, O God, in our lives. Be exalted as you are in the heavens and the earth. We are reminded that it's said in the word, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the sun, your name is worthy to be praised. And so we praise you. We praise you. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you. Hallelujah. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise, O God, and continue to lead us. We ask and pray in Jesus' holy and precious name with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Blessed be the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He is worthy to be praised he's worthy to be exalted jesus loves you jesus died so that you and i can have life and have abundant life blessed be the name of jesus thank you for listening thank you for tuning in my name is vanola glasgow thank you for listening to rise up with vanola as we rise up for a brand new day rise up today in jesus name rise up today and he will definitely lead you guide you and direct you. May God bless you and may he keep you trusting in him.
serving him every day of your life. God bless you and do have yourself a productive day in Jesus' name. In the heavens or the earth to pay the debt of sin for everyone who can win the victory over death, hell, and the grave. It's the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, the Son. He is Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. You listening to Chronicles. So many times we struggle and we labor. To the world. 